And it's Friday already, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's Friday the, uh, whatever it is, it's Friday. 11th, 12th, 13th. It's Friday the 14th. Yeah, Friday the 14th. Thank you. And the Gospel is from Matthew. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was, and his companions were hungry? He went to the house of God and the bread offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only priests could eat. The Gospel of the Lord. I to finish that whole parable because today is the feast of Maximian Colby. He, a martyr for the faith. It means he gave his life for the faith during the, during the Holocaust. He was in the death camp. And his fame was when he came to die. Not merely because he was in the you know, prison there, which might have died anyway, but uh, someone escaped from the prison. And what happened when someone made escape, they would line up the, those prisoners and would choose ten who would be put to death. So as a fear of them, you know, you do this, this, you know, you're affecting the others. So they lined them up and they just went through picking people, I guess, at random. And one fellow they picked, he started screaming, I can't, I can't die, please, don't you? I have a wife, I have children, I can't, please. And he was in tears, he was a broken man. Then Maximine, Father Maximine heard them. He said, then he stepped forward, he goes, I'll take his place. He said, who are you? I'm a Catholic priest. They probably didn't really care who died. Ten is ten, so he said, okay, fine. And so he went and took this man's place. What's even more amazing was at least they stopped him to death. But while he was in prison under those oh, terrible conditions, he could be heard singing and praising God, just and united to God in spirit. And finally, they gave him a lethal injection to put him to you know, rapid death. But what generosity, though. Hmm? And by the way, that fellow survived, and I'm grateful to Maximine Cole because he was able to be reunited with his wife and his children. And so this is the great saint, and we are to lay down our lives for others, you know, and we are to give to others. Hopefully we're not asked to die for our faith, I hope not, you know, but make a little sacrifice of whatever it may cost. And so when the sacrifices we make probably never compare with St. Maximilian Colby went through giving his life. May God give us a generous heart. God bless you.